cool shit. He's out here working on his radio show, his new album, uh, our movie, a new movie. And an uh, uh, animated movie. Yeah, or maybe just enjoying the afternoon with, uh, with Sherry Moon. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he has enough stuff. <laughs> he doesn't have enough stuff to do, all right? There he is. Well, damn time. <laughs> He was never late for dinner. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Put some food out. Hello. Howdy. How's everybody? Yeah. 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 I like to be live in here. Yeah. I'm here. 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 We want it really to kick. I don't like people just standing back, you know, asking dull questions and everybody being tentative. I want it to rock in this place. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I want out of here. Yeah. All right, so we're going to rock, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Yeah. Okay, I'll sit down, brother. Did you get that out? I got it out. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'm happy. All right, yes. So, it's waiting for Matt. Matt's oh, Matt's coming. That's right. So, so we get to close Christmas. Let's start going. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get here when he gets here. Go ahead and start. All right. All right. All right. All right. Are you sure you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. All right. start and Matt can hop in. Matt's going to come in. We'll have to stop. No, no. We'll have to slow down. But Matt's going to be here. It's just we got to get to it. People want to say, well, Matt, they want to call Matt, right? Yeah. 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 It's going to be in the middle of the thing. Let's step in right here. Me and Kevin's smart back there. Let's just do it. Before all we right, get started, right, right. let's everybody give a big round of applause to Ben back there for bringing all these great hey, Yet today, but I thought we'd recap, you know, House of a Thousand Corpses real quick because I'm so there's a couple of you out there that haven't seen it, but in the what? Movie, I just, uh, <laughs> listen, damn it. We need to go read it today or buy it. Buy it today, right? That's right. That's right. Uh, they tell, we're introduced in that uh, in that movie to the uh, Firefly family, of course, and Captain Spaulding. Yeah. And uh, in that movie, uh, we follow two young couples who learn about the legend of uh, Dr. Satan. You stupid kids. <laughs> <laughs> they should know better, but they got to go find this damn tree, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they uh, pick up Baby Firefly, a rather uh, attractive young hitchhiker on the way. No, and, damn uh, gorgeous. <laughs> Six foot tall beauty. And uh, from there, they wind up at, back at the Firefly household, and things, well, they're not too hospitable for our young couples, to say the least. Now, the Devil's Reject is going to pick, pick up a few days after where House of a Thousand Corpses left off. And it starts out with a SWAT team raiding the house, and after some altercations, the house burns down, and the family is on the run, which sounds like a great setup. Uh, you guys want to talk a little bit about... Uh, where the movie picks up and just sort of uh, where it goes a little bit from there? Sure. Uh, actually, it's not a couple of days after, it's yeah. a couple of months because it's the time it takes me to grow a beard. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, uh, and stop being an albino. And stop being an albino. I got cured, no longer an albino, and I got a beard now, uh, which I did grow myself. Um, I was at the uh, Super Bowl of last year. Uh, Rob, I went over to Rob's house to watch the Super Bowl, and he turned to me and said, uh, you know, maybe you should grow a beard. I just thought, I, you know, I can't, you know, I've never grown a beard. I, you know, I figured, I, yeah, well, okay. But anyway, so um, I said, well, what do you want me to look like? And he said, well, and he, and he sketched uh, what looked like, uh, kind of looked like a cross between uh, Jesus and uh, Dwayne Allman, I guess. <laughs> and after, uh, paper plate, he said, I want you to look like this. And so I started growing this beard. And, uh, you know, uh, five months later, I had a beard, which you know, freaked me out. Surprised the shit out of you, didn't it? It had a lot of white in it, too, which kind of sucked. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're the reason that I had to go to Yeah. Yeah. It's, why don't you say no? <laughs> you know, it's all Bill's fault. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I already <laughs> had mine. I mean, yeah, it is. Yeah. I'll be with Rob there, like, uh, whatever, when I come in. And Rob says, grow a beard. <laughs> Grow a beard. How are you going to be my brother without a beard? I don't know. I guess I can't get a reason, but I mean, <laughs> you guys said no, then I wouldn't have had to do it. 
You guys are in for a treat. This movie has a great, just a wild cast. It's, it's got a beard, of course. Sid Hayes yeah. here reprising his role as Captain Spaulding. Yeah. And then we got Bill Mosley as Otis B. Driftwood again. And you got Matt as Tiny. Matt will be in here in a little bit. Yeah. And then, of course, you got Ken, Ken Foray here as uh, Charlie Altamont. Yeah. Who's my brother? Yes, I am. Yeah. Kane Hunter. You can talk, talk to Kane in there. He did the stunt work, but he didn't want to come talk today. He's like, well, I'll just get stunned. So we tried to get him in here, but he wouldn't do it. But let's he didn't rest want to fall off the chair. There's some more that I didn't write down. Michael Berryman. We're going to fish up. Ginger Lynn. Ginger Lynn's got a role in this movie. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. <laughs> We have a lot of good times together. PJ <laughs> <laughs> uh, Souls, Riff Randall from, uh, from yeah. Rock and Roll High School is in this movie. Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth Daly, who's the voice of Tommy on the Rugrats, she's in this movie. Yeah, she is. She is. She's a ghost script that's around because she'll probably lose her job on Rugrats. <laughs> <laughs> and Diamond Dallas Page, the wrestler. Oh, yeah, yeah Diamond Dallas. A group of people. I mean, and there's some more. There's other guys. Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo. Michael Berryman. Michael Berryman. Who else? Uh, Dave uh, Trejo. We got Trejo. Who else? Last week, Easter Book. Last week, Easter Book. Easter Book. Easter book. Brown yeah. Bob Valkenberg. Bob Valkenberg. Steve Railsback. <laughs> Railsback. That's right. That's right. And let's not forget uh, the great William Forsythe, who... Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, we didn't just go gather up four new stupid people to kill. <laughs> we just kind of set out on the road and kill everything in our sight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the poster that you see around here is uh, actually a, a shot of a woman whose husband's face got cut off and tied to her face, and then bad things happened. Yes. <laughs> then the bad news. Yeah, that's just foreplay. And you're just fooling around, having fun. Here, take a face. Ah. Uh, you love him so much here. Boom. She was uh, not happy about it. That's right. right. Her right. husband was even less happy. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I was the one with, uh, with the knife. You did it. You did it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so there's some, there's some really yeah. nasty he stuff. He did spit on it. He spit on it. So, <laughs> so, 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 so <laughs> what's he going to do? He's got no face. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Bill, I understand you and Elizabeth Daly get rather uh, close during the whole thing. Oh, uh, <laughs> a bit of a love scene in this movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't call it love. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a reasonable facsimile. Uh, 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 enjoyable exercise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We, uh, she plays, uh, well, she's actually part of uh, Charlie Alamont's uh, stable of girls. Charlie, Charlie is, a, uh, is the. Uh, What's that? He has a horror ranch. He doesn't grow in there, he just yeah. you know, works him out. All right, let's, let's drink this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lady, horror ranch. It's a lady to know. <laughs> it ain't all that, all right? <laughs> First of all, Charlie gets involved in a, uh, in a lot of little plots and schemes, and he's a, like an entrepreneur, a businessman. When everything fails, and he gets his brother, and his brother's partners and mom, and some of his little schemes, and we even go to prison, jail, do all this is a background story. And so Charlie started off with a resort, yeah, a yeah. summer resort. Yeah. Yeah. It couldn't work. A no star resort. Well, it didn't work, right? So Charlie, of course, thinks, well, what would work out here? So he turns it into a horror ranch. Charlie's about as successful a pimp as he was a businessman. <laughs> so it, it ain't all that, guys, you know. But you, know? you got some pretty good girls here, though. Yeah, I did. I, I could talk, talk a good game, but you know, I ain't going to go wrong. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The Chinese, yeah, famous Chinese. Yeah, 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 that's right. Now, 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 now we learned some, some interesting background on some of the characters. Sid, yeah. I think we learned something about you and Baby. In this movie, don't yes, we finally find out that uh, Baby is my daughter. 
Yay! My niece. Yes, Mama and me did the nasty and look what we got. <laughs> Some shrill ass voice little girl. <laughs> With a crazy ass laugh. I don't know where oh, that yeah. came from. Boy. So now, speaking of Mama, now Mama's played by Leslie Eastbrook this time. Yeah. Yeah. Any idea why Karen Black didn't reprise the role? We won't talk about that. No, no, no. Not going there. Uh, no, no, no. no. Uh, she she just didn't want to do it for whatever reason. Well, we'll just Stop. pretend, <laughs> it's, you know, just extend the imagination, you know, the disbelief there, and yeah. it's the same person. The same person. That's right. Now, most much the last movie took place in the house. Now, for you, those of you that were there last time. Why can't we talk about it? Talk yeah. about it. What, do, what, do you want to do? Do you want to expose this to the, the entire audience here? We should. Yes. 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 Yes.
<laughs> not that not that bothers the family, man. Yeah. Don't speak with that crap out of you. Let me get into yeah. you guys. Just sort of talk about your character for a minute. Motivation. What? Just a little bit. You don't have to give away too much. A little bit about I this film about. and your, uh, you know, your so character. Let's we'll start. Yeah, let's start with uh, Charlie. I yeah. did. <laughs> 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 All right, he's through. I'll throw yeah, a little bit. That was great. That was that's awesome. that's wonderful. No, but you're running. I, I, you're running the whole house, house, right? That's and then they come to visit. Well, yeah. My my brother. You know, he, he, he always, we, we get into different kind of little situations and he knows that I'm a dad for him and he's a dad. Oh yeah, I had to force you to take my ass in. Well, you know, I knew, <laughs> I knew he was coming with trouble. Yeah. But, you know, I don't want to be upset in my, my little apple cart, but nonetheless, he came. When he came, I was happy to see him. Yeah. I greeted him with all the brotherly love. Yeah, yes, we I shot saw him in my face. face. I was glad yeah. that was. <laughs> <laughs> which was good, which was good. Yeah. And um, so he comes, so I'm always protecting him, I was there to help him, and then I can't give away the rest of the story, but no, that's yeah. the way it went, and we were happy to be with each other, and that's my story. Bill! Okay, uh, let's see, I come along for the ride, because, uh, you know, uh, Spalding and Baby are guaranteed to fuck things up without me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that's my motivation. That's it? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Gotta get out of that house. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Do you do, 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 do more, more than that? Than, I got come more on, to do than that. Well, more. I'm trying to get away from the cops. Uh, let's see. Uh, trying to keep my, you know, keep my beard clean. Uh, you get punched around a lot. A few more, uh, you know, kind of a few more girls to meet out there, and uh, get kicked in the stomach. Get kicked in the stomach. Yeah. That was a, that was crucial. Kind yeah. of. Actually, it was, was the ribs. Oh, ribs. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, what else happened? Unforgettable. Ribs. Are you talking about my motivation or like what happened? Well, well, let's, let's, well we're, we're, we're switching back and forth. So what, yeah, what do you I want? get a chance to uh, finally take off my shirt. So uh, I think oh, that was that was just really hard at uh, you know lifting all those barbells. Oh, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm Captain Spaulding, and I'm real sexy in this. So, uh, yeah, unlike that's the guys. that's the uh, that's the whole thing here. You know, trying to get sex. some nasty sexiness involved. Yeah. Sex go. Uh, the first time you see me in this film, I'm bumping uglies with Ginger Lynn. Oh, yeah. 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 That's a real horror film for you. What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we're having a good time. Bumping uglies. It's bumping uglies. You gotta remember that one. Yeah. Bumping uglies. And, um, uh, Baby gives me a call says that they're in trouble. He's always getting us in trouble. The My friend ship. Otis, okay? The ship. Yeah, <laughs> ship. We, we're trying to rob banks and he fucks it up, okay? And we wind up in jail and all that shit. <coughs> um, but uh, by the end of the film, and I can, I, you know, I said this a long time ago, but this last screening they had kind of proved it. Uh, you will go through a whole gamut of emotions, you know. You'll be scared, and you'll be disgusted, and you'll be pissed off, and you'll be sad. You'll be all of those things. Right. Yeah. I'll just go, out. you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now talk Don't about shut it off. Just, you know, stay open and go with the flow. Yeah, that's right. Talk yeah, about working with, and get the large popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk about working with Rob Zombie a little bit. Uh, oh, please. What an ass. God. I mean, oh. <laughs> you know, we got a contract on that. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Take his ass out. But those two well, guys have voted very good. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, we love him. He's, he's not only a great guy to work with, because yeah. you don't work for him, you work with him. Yeah. But he's also a great guy to hang out with. Yeah. Just, just kick yeah. back and have a few beers and don't get stupid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't hit it. We get stupid real easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and actually, just in the last couple of weeks, we've uh, Sid and I have both, and Ken's uh, Ken's uh, on deck, I guess, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, to be on uh, Rob's radio show. He's got a he's uh, he hosts a radio show now out of L.A. Mm -hmm. on Indy One O Three Point One, which you can yeah, actually station. you know hear on your computer. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and we uh, we showed up, and uh, you know spent uh, spent some quality time with Rob, uh, just uh, you know hanging out. Me playing corn bugs, uh, my band with Buckethead, and uh, Sid playing uh, the Thunderbirds or whatever group he was in. Yeah. 
Ken is. Uh, oh, I'm going to rock it, baby. <laughs> He's going to rock it. Wait, I'm going on. Ken was an iron butterfly. It's <laughs> 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 heavy. All right, look. I'm going on. Let's see. Uh, not this Monday. Not tomorrow. Next Monday, I go on. And I'm going to rock the house. So look, yeah. look for it. It's going to be a whole new experience. People are listening to it all over the place. Last Monday, we got a couple of calls from London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. London, England? Yeah. No. London, 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 does he see one of these directors that beats you over the head with it's got to be exactly this way? No, 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 no. Uh, he, he, he imparts his vision to you, what it is that he wants to see, and then he just gets the hell out of the way and lets you do your job. Yeah. Hmm. And <laughs> if every boss did that in every business, we'd get a hell of a lot more done. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have a... in for president. That's it. <laughs> You hit, what is the button? Falling, Falling for, for president. president. My platform is right there. You'll yeah, go right. in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Potato in every pocket. That's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. How does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I did a, That's a good line. I suggested a scene to Rob. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't mean to have fun and break up your shit. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I had a uh, scene with Rob, and I suggested something. And we used, you know, we talked about it. That's what I got to say. We changed it a bit, yet you have to use part of it. You part of what he's making. Yeah. We got to work together. So awesome. he, he does, you know, let you create. It's a great process. It's teamwork. Yeah. And that, that's, yeah. that's what makes it uh, a pleasurable experience. A lot of times you get on the yeah. set and it's go to point A, point B, just follow your instructions, that are allowed to say your lines, you know, be in character. That's it. Yeah. You know, but this is a creative process where we're all working towards the end. And he's part of that. He makes a very good thing. Excuse me, miss. <laughs> are we bothering your phone uh, call? Can I have a couple of A couple of yeah. Make that two pepperonis and uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I We love you, but you know, turn that shit off. Okay. I, 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 I got one more question to ask Bill. Who would win a fist fight, Otis or Chop Top? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one, baby. I think Johnny would. Johnny. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, a lot of times I've been asked, actually, I, I have no idea. I think. Uh, Fist fight? I don't think either of them would use their fists. Who yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would win a fight between a straight razor and a, and a deer gut and knife? You know, I don't know. Um, but a lot of times I've been asked, uh, you know, uh, who do you like more, Chopped Up or Otis? And uh, you know, as I my my standard reply is it's kind of like saying, you know, which of your kids do you like more? Yeah. You know, so uh, how's that for it? That's a pretty good answer. A little, a little moment of it's there, Jamie, a little family values in this. Thing. That's it. Yeah. It's the one that brings you the most money. Some kids out there, and we've been uh, swearing. All that horrible oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. One. Trying to pick it up a little bit. There. Oh, yeah. I one right there. Well, I tell you, since uh, Matt's not in here, anybody got any good stories on the dirt? Where the hell is there? Matt? Did, some, did you tell Matt to come? He was going to the bathroom, and you know. he was. Uh, going oh, to that sounds like a problem <laughs> already. <laughs> Funny stories about Matt you guys can tell on the set. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's one. Is there? Uh, no. What about when he, when he, when he ate that, uh, that that woman's uh, pet chihuahua? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think his character gets to do a little more in this yeah. in this in this time around. Yes, 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 yes. She does get to I do a little more. Don't give it away. Don't give it away. I just took it all back. Yeah. 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 But he's a lot more active in this movie. I understand last time he was a little upset he didn't get to, you know, kill anybody or anything. Matt doesn't get upset. He's an easy going guy. See, Matt, you don't have when you're seven foot twenty four, you don't have to get upset with nobody. You just fall on the some bitch and that's it. Although I love I love that scene when he was eating the uh, Agatha Crispy and so oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like uh, cocoa, I think they were cocoa puffs or something like that. And uh, he was eating out of that, if you notice, but it was a big dog, dog bowl. Yeah. 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 
I mean, that to me was hilarious. I've never seen anybody throw food in their mouth before. That. I mean, <laughs> now, some people have asked a question like, uh, what? Because, uh, you know, he lets the girl go, and then I grab her and throw her into a, like, a little cage, and all of a sudden, out of the, you know, the, the rags come a bunch of girls that grab her. And they were asking, like, you know, what is that, and who are those girls? And uh, even if you weren't asking, I'm going to tell you, because uh, basically those girls, because I had the same question, like, what, what are these girls, like, lying under these rags? Fair girl. You know what you know what it was? It turns out it was um, Tiny's old playthings. And he has kind of a childlike mentality, and he collects these girls and dresses them up with, like, little dolls and stuff, plays with them, and then he gets kind of tired of them. And he puts them in that cage and doesn't feed them or anything. And uh, so they're a little hungry and they're a little uh, crazy and uh, they live under the, the newspapers and the, uh, the yeah. old clothes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So that's who they were. So. Tiny's toy box. Tiny's toy box. There you go. <laughs> yeah. How wonderful. Do you guys uh, want to ask some questions? Q&A. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Is uh, Rob Zombie going to make a cameo in it this one? Like the no. 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 That's, an, that's, a, that's a negative. Next, please. Do you remember the cameo he made in the first one? Yeah. 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 He was the assistant of uh, Dr. Wolfenstein. Yeah, the TV show. Yeah. And, you know, I played three characters in, yeah. uh, in Hospital. Uh, you know, I was Otis. Mm -hmm. I was uh, Lance Brockwell. Yeah. <laughs> that's like uh, there's a little uh, news show, and I'm like the, uh, the newscaster. And I also was uh, Ed Gein Ooh. in the uh, black and white footage of the uh, murder ride. And maybe uh, Sid will tell us how you can get to those uh, Easter eggs. Oh, shit, man. Uh, yeah, the, the way to get to the Easter eggs, everybody know what Easter eggs are? Okay. Is to go to www.eastereggs.com, yeah, .com, type in House of a Thousand Corpses, and it will tell you how to get to every Easter egg that's in there. And how many are there? Three. There's one where uh, Spaulding and Otis and Baby are having dinner, and, and Otis is reading a porno magazine, <laughs> and Baby doesn't get any of the dialogue, and it keeps asking me to explain stuff that's going on in the porno magazine. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes downhill from there. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Is any of the, the supernatural story, the whole Dr. Satan thing, going to be in this movie at all, or is going to drop? We won't find that out until Tuesday night. Uh, we'll see it yeah. 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 Next, please. Stand up, don't be. Come on. Come on. Somebody. Yeah. Uh, Captain Spalding played a bigger role than he did in the first one? Yeah. Yeah. And do y'all know what stump rope means? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Next. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's kids in the room. Stop that. Tiny's a real wood splitter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Give an eight Lincoln. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, over here. What, what is the connection with the family and Dr. Sage? Uh, Next. Come on. <laughs> Answer that. Somebody. Come on, Bugs got it. Go ahead. No, I'm just stretching. Oh, Come on, man. <laughs> uh, Dr. Satan is, uh, he's not grandpa because uh, Dennis is grandpa. Right. So Dr. Satan, he's got some relation. I mean, we're all part of the same gene pool, but I'm not sure where we dive in. Yeah, there's speculation that um, Dr. Satan was a figment of Captain Spaulding's imagination. <laughs> something he just dreamt up to scare the shit out of people that suddenly became a reality. Yeah. Um, and we're not really sure if what happens down in the catacombs is real or not. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it could be is. a whole dream, I imaginary dream sequence, you know, I think it's goes real. back down into the tunnel. Yeah. Okay. Her laugh coming before her eyes, before he slit her freaking throat. <laughs> but we do know that Tiny's father is Earl, a.k.a. the professor, which is the red headed monster at the very end with that kind of sucker mouth. Uh, he is Tiny's dad. And he was the one that doused Tiny with gasoline because he was, you know, freaking out and burning Tiny up. And why he's down there with like a sucker mouth and an axe, you know, who the hell knows. It just looks cool. He, 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 he and Mother Firefly had Tiny, so that's a, it hurt me 
used it. That was, yeah. <laughs> you have a question there? Yeah, she didn't survive. She infected her daughter. She didn't survive. No, we don't know that she survived. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's going to be a survivor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Well, you never know. Yeah. No. <laughs> I know. No. Have you guys seen what the finished product is? She plays the cold cut. No, we, we will not see the finished product. Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday night. And Tuesday. even Tuesday. then, it's not going to be absolutely complete. There's some yeah. stuff that still yeah. needs to be done, but there's enough of it that we're going to see. Yeah. 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 Gonna, where, where are you guys going? Lionsgate. Lionsgate. Studio. Studios. Yeah. Santa Monica. Santa Monica, California. We'll, we'll be there Tuesday, all of you. We'd like to start starters. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? When is Rob Zombie's radio show? When is he on? What? Monday seven, nights, uh, seven between nine. 7 and 9, seven and nine. Yeah. Pacific Coast Standard oh, Time, seven, time seven, real quick, whatever. Uh, internet radio? Oh. Internet radio. Yeah. 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 Okay, we got we to gotta go. So if you got one more question, we'd be happy to ask. Yeah. Three more questions. <laughs> uh, let's go with the first man here. I think this gentleman there, there he is. There he is. Uh, is there any explanation how you uh, lost your albinoism, if that's a word? Albinoism? Uh, the albinism. I, I albinism. Yes. That's kind of like the sock that goes into the washing machine that doesn't come back out. <laughs> Same well, explanation. Like albinism is a piece of string. Yeah. <laughs> Just for men. You asked the wrong yeah. guys. Right? Just, <laughs> <laughs> Anybody expect a straight answer? answer? Yeah. Yeah, right. Is there any address to try to pass down the courses? Like Whoa. The stuff? If there is, it's going to be a long time from now. Yeah. yeah. There really was, uh, you know, just, just to allay them uh, rumors, there was actually, uh, there are no scary scenes that are in a vault somewhere in, Switzerland, in a Swiss bank that were too frightening <laughs> for people to see. And they are only available on the Brazilian DVD, which is mysteriously 20 <laughs> minutes longer than the American version. That's all a bunch of baloney. There's it's actually, all there. Uh, everything you see in House of a Thousand Corpses is basically, that's it. And um, uh, some of the scenes were trimmed, which tells you about uh, you know the wonderful ratings board called the MPAA. Uh, there's a scene where a baby chases uh, Mary, I guess, in the rabbit suit and catches her and stabs her a bunch of times in the graveyard. And uh, I think originally they stabbed during like 10, 10 times. times. Yeah. And the MPAA said, that is NC-17. And so Rob said, well, what can I do to get it to an R? And then they said, uh, and if, you, if she stabs her six times, that's an R. <laughs> <laughs> How about dead is dead? Yeah. <laughs> so like 10 stabs is uh, NC-17, six stabs is R. So those are the, you know, those are the things that were trimmed. But basically, uh, you know, what you see is what you get. And just to give you a little heads up on, on the new film, uh, The Devil's Rejects, they had to take it to the MPAA eight times to get it to an R rating. Okay. It was one of those, you know, yeah, love that the yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But the director's cut of The Devil's Rejects is going to really be a horrifying <laughs> One of those quadruple sets, you know? Maybe he'll box both movies together in some ultimate, you know, Rob Zombie set. Or yeah, probably like the 20th anniversary. So yeah, yeah, yeah. When that's released the DVD, will that have all the trimming basically on it? Yeah, those rejects will probably, yeah. But yeah. Not, I don't, yeah, I don't think, I don't think uh, House will because, you know, House, in order to, do, to re release a DVD, bless you, in order to re release it, what you got to do is you got to basically re edit the whole movie. Change the soundtrack. I mean, it's a, you know an expensive and time-consuming effort, so it better be worth it. So probably not for 20 years, uh, you know. But that, yeah. All right. Well, you know, just, <laughs> go to, go to devilsrejects.com and just uh, you know, there's a message board there. And just say, uh, we Yo, want Rob, director's cut. Director's yeah. cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still right going back in. Yes, sir. composing it. He composed no. the soundtrack for the first, he composed the music as well as got, you know, linked the songs together. 
Uh, this time it's a guy named uh, somebody, T Taylor. Taylor. Who? Tyler Bates. Tyler Bates. Tyler Bates. Bates. We did the soundtrack for the new John of the Dead. The remake. Yeah. So and Rob apparently is very excited about him, and he, he weighed a lot of options about who would compose the music, and Tyler got the nod. So uh, yeah. apparently it's going to be, you know, it's awesome. And Tyler's very, very high on the side of the club. And then they're going to be, and, it, and it's going to be, uh, you know, obviously we're still back in the 70s, maybe. Yeah, so yeah. whatever songs there are are going to be, uh, you know, time appropriate as opposed to, uh, you know, like a bunch of B-sides of uh, Coldplay kind of thing. Knight Rider is going to be Knight Rider. Midnight Rider. Midnight. Midnight. I think it's a Night Rider. No, I did. I did. I did. One more question. One more question. One more. What do you guys think about Nashville? What do we think about Nashville? Yeehaw, man. Let's go. We love Nashville. Hell yeah. Love Nashville. Good damn barbecue. Get the best